Welcome all. It's a pleasure to be here today. I am Neda Haibi, Group Product Manager at Microsoft in Azure AI. I lead the Decision AI, OCR, and Form Recognizer product management teams. This session is about Decision AI and how it can boost decision intelligence in your organization for better business outcomes. While I'm presenting this session to you today, I'm also chatting with you live. So enjoy my double role and feel free to post questions in the chat. Let's start with Decision AI why. Making decision is complex and the complexity of decision is increasing. This is due to the following. First of all, data, lots and lots of data that needs to be taken into consideration. Data needs to be combined from various sources. Data changes in real time. In addition, the pace of decision making is increasing and businesses are becoming more and more dynamic and decision needs to be made faster based on data and personalized. Throwing more dashboards and more data, more KPIs and more information at people is not going to help them make decisions. That's where decision AI needs to help and support the decision makers. Let's also divide decision AI into two categories, operational intelligence and customer intelligence. With the shakeup of 2020 and the pandemic, decision intelligence has come into focus in operation intelligence. For example, the need for remote equipment monitoring for social distancing, supply chains which struggle to keep up with the demand and more. Organization would like to improve day-to-day -day business and technology operation and shift from reactive to proactive, predict issues before they happen, forecast demand, and optimize inventory management and operating capabilities. In the customer intelligence, every organization would like to personalize the customer experience and engagement, expand cross-selling and upscaling, increase customer engagement and satisfaction. For example, anticipate customer needs and identify the right opportunities for businesses, growth, optimize revenue and profit by prescribing personalized next-based action, next-based offer, for every customer and increase retention by offering the most relevant, engaging, and seamless customer experience. Looking into the operational intelligence category, which proactively monitors metrics and diagnoses issues, we have the following. Predictive maintenance that can analyze streaming data occurs on equipment and detect anomalies and predict malfunctioning before they occur. Monitoring, which examines data in near real time and pinpoints the minute something happened spot unusual behavior in deep data layers and shows the key drivers of the problem with root cause analysis, and fraud detection, which pinpoint patterns in event data streams that identify revenue leakage or maintain maintenance and safety issues so investigation team can act upon a single continuously updated and prioritized queues of leads. Let's see some use cases, how organizations are utilizing decision AI operation intelligence to improve decisions and operations. Samsung has a popular smart TV service, and the company needs to consistently monitor the health of the service to prevent the outages. Its existing rule-based monitory system lacks sufficient accuracy and generated too much noise. In order to provide better monitoring and assist the decision making, Samsung deployed an anomaly detection and root cause analysis so that engineers can now quickly determine the root cause of problems with easy to use incident trees and web pages. By performing root cause analysis much faster using Azure Metrics Advisor, engineers help prevent issues from turning into service outages. The monitoring system is more robust, accommodating a vast area of metrics inputs and generate far fewer false positive results. Another use case is Airbus, which predicts satellite maintenance issue using anomaly detection. Managing the complexity of satellite demands data intensive precision. Satellites are put under different types of stress. Let's see their, how they do that. Supporting the satellite operation team's activities is a complex process. The Earth passes around the sun in elliptical shape, so satellite orientation frequently changes in response to factors like radiation and shifts in the daily mission plan. Airbus has to look across multiple parameters to spot and troubleshoot suboptimal orientation all while minimizing fuel consumption and ensuring the longevity of their satellites in mission-critical operations. Anomaly Detector from Azure Cognitive Services accelerates this troubleshooting process. 
by running cognitive services in containers. The AI runs disconnected without sending sensitive data to the cloud. Together, Airbus and Microsoft advance the aerospace industry with AI, amplifying human ingenuity to help its people achieve more. We saw how Airbus deployed anomaly detector, part of Cognizant Services, to gather and analyze the telemetry data and support the decision making on the satellite maintenance issues. We saw use cases from customers. Let's now see how Decision AI and Metrics Advisor can assist in identifying anomalies in cost and revenue. Chi Wong, Metrics Advisor PM, will demo this now. Thank you. Keep track of business status. Actively monitor on key business indicators is critical to business success. I'll just skip the data onboarding part since it's pretty simple. In this example, two metrics of cost and revenue has been onboarded for performing anomaly detection. These two metrics have two dimensions. One is city, another is category, which cuts the metrics into multiple slices of time series. After onboarding the metric data, Metric Advisor automatically monitors on all slices of each city and category combination and apply the best detection configuration. Those configurations can be easily tuned by simply dragging and inputting parameters. This could help on better customization and eventually improve detection accuracy. After setting up a proper detection configuration, set an alert configuration to receive detection results in real time. Then your business trend is backed by Metrics Advisor. Let's see, here's an anomaly that detected on November 10th. The issue was escalated by an alert. Business owner just simply clicks on the anomaly and check on diagnose information. This incident escalates an anomaly that detects on aggregated dimension value of city and category, which means it has huge impact. Getting the root cause as soon as possible is important. From this incident page, customer can quickly find the most potential root cause that's su suggested by the system automatically. Moreover, Customer can also pivot through different dimensions and further analyze the incident by using incident tree. Additionally, if there are metrics graph has been configured, customer could easily find the insights across metrics that help further root cause the issue based on relation and dependency. Within a couple of minutes, tons of insights can be achieved from metrics advisor's diagnosis experience instead of manually running query and finding root cause, which will cost tons of time. By adopting Metric Advisor, business has been protected. Thank you, Chi Wang. We saw how we can use Metrics Advisor to identify cost and revenues. And we saw in operational intelligence, the massive of data, the data from different sources, requires decision AI in order to help people make decisions. Let's now look at customer intelligence. Customer intelligence enables us to personalize the customer experience, increase the customer engagement and satisfaction by showing customers information and things that they need when they need it. Let's see the difference between personalization and recommendations. In April 2020, when the pandemic started, the top 10 search terms were toilet paper, face masks, hand sanitizer, paper towels, Clorox wipes, N95 mask, and similar stuff. People weren't just searching, they were also buying and in bulk these things. When COVID hit, people started buying things we'd never bought before. The shift was sudden. Popular products such as cosmetics, luggage, hotel booking, attractions, electronics, that were used to be top search and top things people wanted were knocked off the chart. Recommendation service, trained on previous user habits of people like me, similar products, need a time to adjust. Personalization services, trained in real time based on reinforcement learning, 
score and rewards method adopted in real time and started showing customers the things they wanted like toilet paper, face masks, Clorox. So the difference is personalization and personalizer are trained in real time with reinforcement learning, while recommendation services are trained for people like me, similar products and things on data that previous data. Let's seek some use cases on commercial intelligence and how customers are deploying personalizer and decision AI to increase customer engagement and satisfaction. Abinev has deployed Personalizer as part of their website to show customers products in a personalized manner. As a result, they have improved their revenue per order, they have 67 plus conversion to orders, and they saw a 100% engagement lift and customer satisfaction. Their EVP of innovation said Personalize came up as something that was very leading edge and very innovative and solved the need for us. Let's now see how Personalizer works. And I'll be happy to invite Tyler. Hi, I'm Tyler Clintworth, and I am the engineering manager for Cognitive Services Personalizer. Today, I will be showing one of Personalizer's interactive demos. This is a common customer scenario where the hero image or article is personalized to the user. Imagine this is the front page of a tennis news site, and we need to determine what article to show on our banner. To do this, we will be using reinforcement learning and making two API calls, rank and reward. The rank call determines what to show, and the reward call informs the service if it made a good or bad decision. First, let me break down the rank call to see how the choices are sent. The request consists of a JSON body with two pieces of information. The first is the context features. As an arbitrary JSON object, the customer specifies situational and or user features about the request. In our contrived example, we are sending the type of the device, what tournament is currently active, and who referred them to the website. This can be augmented with other information such as the user agent, and it is left to the customer to define features that would work best for their scenario. The second set of information is a list of possible actions. We are defining an action here as one of these three articles. Each action must have an ID used to correlate with the result and features about the article. We can see a Boolean about whether a video is available, how long ago the article was published, and other metadata about the article. Now that the request object is ready, we can submit the rank call to Personalizer. Personalizer has responded with the best possible choice, as well as a probability for each available action. During the decision-making process, the service decides whether to explore or exploit. To exploit is to choose the optimal action, while exploration may choose a non-optimal action in order to learn something new. The fact that using learned model is highlighted signals the service has chosen to exploit. With the heavy lifting now done, the user still needs to send a reward value to complete the reinforcement loop. The reward should be a reflection of the customer's business objective. In this case, we want to maximize user engagement. So after clicking the article, the more content of the article being read, the higher the reward score maximizing here at a value of 1. After the timer completes, a reward value is sent to Personalizer for additional training, which will result in better future choices. Thank you. That was a demo on how Personalizer works. We saw how Personalizer is used by customer and how it works. Personalizer can be used on its own to personalize the customer's engagement and satisfaction and provide customers with things they want, or it can use, be used with recommendation engines and sit on top of recommendation engines, improving the, uh, the, the things you show customers by showing them the personalized stuff from the catalog. So a recommendation engine will go over the catalog and extract the things that people like me bought, uh, similar items and stuff like that, and Personalizer will take the things that apply to the person and are personalized for that specific person who is looking or seeing the data. 
Together, personalizer and recommendation can increase the customer engagement and customer satisfaction. We saw how Decision AI is utilized in operation intelligence and in customer intelligence. To learn more about Decision AI for your scenarios, go to Personalizer, Anomaly Detector, or Azure Metrics Advisor and see if you can apply them to your scenarios, to operation scenarios, to your customer intelligence scenarios, and use Decision AI in your organization. That brings us to the end of the session. I'm still available in the chat Q&A box to answer more questions or connect with me in the virtual networking lounge. Thank you, everybody.